So I got to ask you like lessons learned from your VPE experience at box, like maybe worst decision you ever made while you were there, best decision you ever made, lessons learned. Can you share anything like that? Totally. I think the sort of highlights and lowlights are flip sides of the same coin. And maybe there's another low light in there as well somewhere. Okay, but- let's unpack it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like one of the most challenging things, especially about building a new product and especially within an existing company, is there's that sort of needing to understand the business and needing to work cross-functionally as an engineering loop was really critical. And I have this distinct memory that the business team from the platform had started a little bit, and then I was added to the business team as the first kind of engineering counterpart. And a little bit into it, I had to raise my hand and ask a really stupid question, which was, what's our strategy? Like, who exactly is our target developer? And and how many of them, if we want to be a $100 million business, is that 100 million developers that don't pay us much? Or is that 1,000 developers? And so even though that was a really, it felt like a dumb question, we got 10 different answers around the table and really quickly realized that we were not on the same page about what we were trying to achieve. And so I guess I would say that the highlights and the lowlights is if you're not aligned and you don't take time to think about alignment, you can really go off track um, very fast. And so we did some fascinating exercises to go figure out where are we selling successfully? What use cases are working for people? Let's actually then use those use cases to enable engineering and product and marketing and sales and just 100% be aligned around what our platform is good for and when people should buy it and when will they be willing to pay and, and what product should we build to support that.